Okay, just for a little context about how much our family loves boba tea. Um, we have had on our whiteboard for almost two years now a list of uh, reasons we missed our daughter Allegra when she went off to college. So it just was a list of her greatest hits, but I think the important one here is once she went to college, boba related conversations have dropped by 90% um, because she's crazy for boba. And um, our family has this passion. And just this week, a friend of mine from college sent Allegra a kit so she could do some homemade boba during this pandemic when she can't go to her trusty boba shops and get the good stuff. Just also the reason that I look currently like a flush faced cast member of Hamilton, whatever, whatever this is, is because right before Yen tonight, I uh, took a shower and I knew it was going to get in my face I'm doing something. So I had to like clip it a little bit. And then now I'm like, I don't know. Am I Aaron Burr? I don't know. Okay. So Wikipedia just told me that, uh, that boba tea, also known as bubble tea, was invented in Taiwan in the 1980s. <clears throat> I did not know that before. We get it in Minneapolis. There are a few places in Duluth, Minnesota that make it, but not so well as the places in Minneapolis. And so this is like the kit that my friend Al sent to Allegra this week. So here are some uncooked um, tapioca pearls. Uh, and I will show you tomorrow when I simmer them to prepare them for tomorrow's boba. Um, so they're chewy, they're kind of gummy, and then we got a variety of um, flavor choices. The rose was a big hit today during yin, may I just say. Um, so there's almond, there's lychee, there's taro. Oh, this bubble gum, I don't know who's going near that one. Nobody I know. Uh, lavender, and so on. And also this is Byron making tacos. Um, Byron fa is famous. What are you famous for, in Yin? Falling asleep. Yeah. Snoring. Yeah. He's awake right now. Oh, and also, so a part of the, apparently you, you are creating the bubbles by shaking it. I always thought the bubbles were just the pearls, but Wikipedia tells me it's called bubble tea or boba tea um, because you put the powder and then you put some tea. Like today I made a Thai tea. Yesterday we did it with Irish breakfast tea. Uh, we might make it with green tea tomorrow. So you make a tea, you put the powder in, you put some ice in, you shake it, shake it, shake it to dissolve the powder. You pour it in your cup and you drink it with a really wide straw um, so that the tapioca pearls can come up. So how big is the big straw for boba? Well, the pearls have to be able to get sucked up through it. And so it's like, it's as big as like a front tooth. So early in the day, I am making up the tea that will serve as the base for our boba tea. I'm choosing, opting for Thai tea. Green tea would also work. A black tea also works. Um, we tried this yesterday and quite liked it. So I've got some hot water and uh, I've got three tea bags in today. And I'm, uh, I'm boba eating a family of four here, which is why I already have a bunch in the fridge, but I'm making extra here. And when I, if I'm not happy with how the tea bags are sort of dousing in there um, and this is going to be uh, really an ancient family secret so I'd appreciate it if this goes no further uh, than this video. I take what we call wooden spoon tail and I just shove them down in there a little bit um, so you know shh mum's the word. So once you've got the tea made uh, the next thing you need to do is get the tapioca pearls ready we call them the boba the bubbles um, and they come in a bag like this. I use about a tablespoon for each person who's gonna have a boba. And um, basically you have to cook them for a little bit to soften them. And while you're waiting, um, what I like to do is put my hair high on my head and pretend that I am a member of the cheer squad at Navarro Community College. And I am trying to make mat. So you get some water boiling, then you lower it. You're gonna get down to a simmer. And I'm going to put in a tablespoon of the tapioca pearls for each family member. And they will simmer for five minutes. After the five minutes of simmering, um, I have just strained the tapioca pearls. When it looks like a deer has pooped in your garden, you know you're good to go. Um, and so I've 
this is cold water now in here, so I'm just going to let them soak because it's going to be a couple of hours until we make, make the boba. Um, so I'm just going to let them soak in the cold water. We don't want them to get gummy. And um, I have to say, to be honest, uh, the, <laughs> the, the tapioca pearls are an acquired taste. A lot of people, the first time they have a boba, kind of go... But once you're there with them, then it's really addictive. Um, oh, and also, shout out, kitchen shout out to one of our favorite Yin members. Dun, dun, dun. There also is an element of gratitude to boba drinking, um, just because you get to feel lucky that you're having this delicious thing that's unique and rare. Um, and so any day I'm going to have a boba, I like to go outside and look at something else that gives me gratitude, such as Lake Superior. So now it's boba making time. I have apportioned out all of the tapioca pearls into the four glasses. You are definitely gonna to wanna to make sure you've got at least one Daffy Duck. And then I have this thing I'm gonna shake it in, so I put four tablespoons of bubblegum powder. And I have a little bit of leftover tea in here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, left from yesterday. I'm gonna use that up. So I'm just gonna pour pour that in, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna shake it up, and then I'm gonna add some ice and shake it some more. And that shaking action created the bubbles on the top, which I guess technically is why it's bubble tea. But to me, the bubbles are always this business. Okay, so now I'm shaking it with ice in it to get it cold all over. Also, I forgot to say that even though we only have the classic black tapioca um, pearls, in fact, if you go to a real boba making shop, you have all sorts of choices of like aloe things and little jellies and different shapes of stuff they'll drop in there. There even are bursting bubbles that pop in your mouth. I am the only one in my family that's a fan of those. Okay, back to our ad hoc castanetting. So here's one that's finished and ready to go. Um, you can see the little tapioca uh, pearl in the bottom. And we use this super big straw so that the tapioca pearls get slurped up. And this is how Byron starts to prep dinner before yin class, which starts in 25 minutes. Wiley. Wiley. Also, parental moment, if you have kindly and generously given of your time throughout the day to prepare all of these steps, and then you are upstairs and you say to your kids, hey, I'm taking orders for boba tea, if there's any requests, and your 20-year-old sophomore in college says, I don't care whatever, don't matter to me. So you make your bubble gum. When you kindly carry it up the stairs and deliver it to her wee little soft paws, she will in fact say, oh God, not bubble gum. And as you descend the stairs, you'll hear from her room. She says, oh, it tastes like medicine.